That is focus things trying to kill me. He did almost drown it. That's just I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me, well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. Which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. Now, make myself useful. Just give it time. You've been looking at any interesting data? Yeah, I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. What else have you been studying with your focus? Yeah, I've been looking into this uh, Vegas place you found. Gaia showed us everything that happened when you went to get that Poseidon thing. I mean, this Moreland guy seems pretty smart. Though, risking the Tanakh clan lands for a light show is a bold move. Maybe I should check up on them at some point. Just in case. Right. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, the place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. Aloy, you're here. Did you meet with the Quen already? Not yet. After all the trouble you went through getting those sub-functions, it seems unfair you have to deal with these Quen on your own, too. It's safer this way. They think I'm Sobek, or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so. Let me know if you need anything before you go. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zo coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow, how he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Well, before Zoe found a way to fix the land gods, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. Well, once we get a Festus, that's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine is just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. 
Did you talk to Zo after your fight? I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. While Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing. It's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. If I get Omega clearance and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. I'll be in touch if I need anything. We'll be ready. Everyone's been briefed on the pulse generators as well. Good. Aloy, I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clanlands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? Well, there's always Katalo. Leave a loud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. Well, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Hephaestus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready.
Looks like the old ones used their focuses to send all kinds of messages back in the day. All over the world, too. Anytime they wanted. I don't know if I'd like that. I know she could just talk to me every second of the day. Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but... We thought they were just bandits. Hikaru sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. Oh, it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. Anything interesting happened while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh. And where's that? Outside. Above the base. There's a nest of sun wings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the Ten fought against machines, much as we do now, but it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the... knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters. Even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you, they called them seashells. That sounds... kind of gross. What have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans, so I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death, but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. What do Tanakh do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it, although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically, hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with Old World machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through.
I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. <laughs>